so I'm not sure if you can hear me over the downpour. Oh, and lightning. Yeah, this was supposed to be our garage sale day. Just got up early to start putting the stuff out. It's not raining, that's a good thing. And we kind of just set our stuff out on the driveway. We're waiting, we put a few signs at the end of the road um, and just kind of like a feel the dreams thing. And we put our crap out and now they will come, right? People will show up. If you build it, they will come. If you set it out, they will come. How do you think it's going? <laughs> I think we're getting a customer. <gasps> Tim, how do you feel about this? Look at the camera. So excited. So excited. She's coming. Our first customer. <laughs> I hope we make a sale. So did she find her stuff wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> how did it make you feel when she said, this is it? It made me feel bad. Uh -oh. I felt, um... I felt, um like an inadequate garage sailor. Um, it's not everyone's fear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've sold about three things and we've spent a lot of time together as a family. And it's been great, right Lou? <laughs> Garage sales are stupid. Here are my takeaways. Everybody that came to my garage sale today, which was not very many, or people that responded to my post on Facebook, said, huh, garage sale on a Wednesday. That's unique. Um, usually Thursdays are the busy day. <laughs> so you should research the time and day. Uh, that would be best to have it. Do not look to get rich off of poorly planned garage sales. I mean, I tried to make a few bucks, but we made $13. That's it. Check the weather. The good thing that came out of this is that I did get everything out of my basement. And I drove it straight to Salvation Army and donated it all. And so it's out of my house, and so that's good. We do have more room for more crap. And we did spend some quality time together as a family.